In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a tulip vase. This is a fun and easy tutorial. It only takes you about 15 minutes or less. So if you're looking for an easy watercolor tutorial, this is the video for you. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't shown myself in front of the camera for a while, so I thought today I should just show up and say hi to everyone. So hi, if you are new here, my name is Teresa, and in this channel, I do easy and fun watercolor tutorials for beginners. And if this is something that you are interested, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new videos. And now with Without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm just gonna go straight to the supplies. Um, for today's painting, I am using B watercolor paper and uh, I have Mongyo watercolor pen set, my all-time favorite watercolor pens. And I have two Princeton Velvet Touch Rail in size 4 and 8. And that's everything for the product. Um, and now we are set, so let's get into the first part, which is the color mixing. So as, as you can see on the left corner, this is an image of a tulip face and I love the colors of those tulips in this image. So I will use this to reference um, in terms of color themed. Um, as you can see, uh, I noticed that there's violet, pink, and light pink for the tulips. So to have violet, I mix purple with um, dark red as you see here, depending how much you put into um, I mean how much of uh, each color you put into the mixture, you will have a slightly different shade of violet. So I will just mix until I get the, to the tone that I like. Make sure you have a piece of graph paper so that you can test out the colors. And for pink, I am using the bright red um, and I try to, to um, mix with um, white to see um, what kind of shade I can achieve. Um, and you can also mix with a little bit of muted yellow to have some sort of uh, beachy pink tone as well. It depends on what shade you like. Um, and for greens, I am going to uh, use this bright, very bright green on this palette, mixing with a little bit of um, the uh, lemon yellow here. So as you can see, I have a, like a yellow screen as uh, it shows in the image. And um, that's one green I'm gonna use. I need to mix another green to um, to add like a shade um, and for a darker value. So I'm using a bluish green, mixing with brown to darken the shade a little bit. And now I have two shades of greens for the painting. And now we have the color theme set up and ready to go. So let's start painting. And now as you can see on the screen, there is another image of a tulip face. So um, I really like how the tulips point toward different directions and um, I love in terms of the arrangement and I also love the uh, vase shape in this image. So I will use this to uh, reference um, in terms of composition um, of the bouquet of a tulip bouquet. And now as you can see, I start painting the tulips, referencing how it looks in the image. Um, I, I just kind of use the reference photo to have an idea how a tulip face look in real life um, so that I can, you know, follow it a little bit. But I also give room for myself to be free and then to, to go with the flow. I don't exactly, I don't really copy exactly the image itself. Um, and after placing all the tulips, I will start adding stems and leaves um, using the um, lemon green that I mixed in the beginning. And at this day, I'm just going to use a very light shade of greens because later on, we're going to add more layers to defy it. So make sure you, in the watercolor, usually you got to go from light to dark. And I also use like a bluish colors to draw the outline of the uh, vase shape. This is like a glass vase, so we don't really need to, um, you know, do too much. Just kind of draw the outline of the shape, and that's it. 
and now when we're done with the first level of you um, can see that the image of a tulip face kind of emerge on the page um, I would call this is like a core layer where you put all the elements onto the page and the next step is very easy you just kind of add more layers into each elements to give it more definition and when you look at the reference image you can see that there are some leaves that pointing down and there's even one tulip that's um, pointing down to the uh, surface and uh, there's some of the leaves pointing in you know its own direction it doesn't follow the rest so that's how that's why I love this image because it just make the you know my painting look more real and um, make it less perfect I feel like when the painting has um, some kind of weird you know, elements it's gonna make it you know more fun, more unique, more characters instead of making it look too perfect now back to the painting I am go back in with a darker shades of the same color of the tulips to add shading and uh, to give the, those tulip more definitions you can add the shading at the bottom of the tulips if you want um, usually those are the area that the light cannot hit uh, but other than that just don't be too specific this is just a loose style painting um, it's not realism so you don't really need to pay attention too much of where the light hit and now I am adding shadow for the leaves um, I mix the bluest dark green in my palette with brown to darken the green um, you can also mix green with red as well to uh, darken the green because green and red are complementary colors on the color wheel and since this is a very dark color you just need to add in just a few spots don't add too much otherwise it's gonna make the the venting look too heavy I usually um, put the very dark a value next to the very light one so that it also can create contrast which make the painting look more stand out now I'm just gonna use the same color the bluest color to draw the water light at one-third of the vase And now I'm just gonna add one more tulips on the right side, uh, pointing down, uh, just like what we see in the reference photos. Um, I love the look of this one. It just add more, you know, characters and add more real into the painting. Um, and the rest is just, you know, the touch up uh, phase where you kind of just see where it need more dark value more contrast and then you add more a little bit more uh, pigments into it um, and kind of adjust the composition of a roll where you can add some more um, flowers some more tulips to make the vase more full um, yeah and I really hope that through this video you kind of get the idea the process how I use reference photo for my paintings um, and it also can give you some idea as well uh, you don't really need to use only one photo so you can combine different photos together and create your own paintings just like this one I like the color theme of one photos but then I like the composition of the others so I just kind of combine them together and then use create my own unique paintings um, and make sure that when you look at the photos you just notice um, some of the elements that stand out to you and then uh, use that to make your painting more stand out add some characters and make it look more unique and finally this is the fun part and it's also something new to me um, I try adding the background for the paintings usually I don't add background because I prefer the white paper which make the color look so much stand out but for this one um, I kind of like, the, like to try the new things so I saw the uh, background of the reference photo it's kind of bluest color so I thought mm, may not I should try to add a background as well so I mix up green 
I'm sorry, I mix blue with a little black to darken the blues to make it more muted and then start painting the background around the tulip face. Here I am using watercolors but you can also use wash as well if water is something that available to you at home. Because uh, I noticed some artists they do use water to add the background for their paintings. Since wash is opaque so you're gonna have more flat and you know uh, even background if that's what you like. But here I like the texture of watercolor. Uh, so adding watercolor as a background is something that I would prefer. And surprisingly, when I finished adding the background, I really like how it looks. It just kind of give me the vintage vibe um, of the for the paintings. So it's kind of look like those still life painting that you usually see um, from um, of the famous painter. Uh, yeah, and it, it definitely look more painterly when you add a background like this. So I will definitely will try this more in my future paintings. And I hope that you will also give it a try if you haven't already. Guys, that is it for the painting today. Um, I hope that you have fun watching the tutorials and you find it helpful if you do please don't forget to give me a thumbs up that would help youtube re recommend this video to more people and it would help my channel as well so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one have a great day bye